What's up? What's up, you guys? Thanks for joining me tonight. If you are watching this, um, this this video is going to be on uh, pretty much how I'm able to comp, and that's um, comp meaning like compare houses, the values. Um, right now, I have some buyers that are interested in the property. They sent me the address, so now my thing is to do is pretty much just see what comparables are out there in the neighborhood, in the area, and see if we can get, if the current listing, the price that is being listed at right now, if if that's a, you know, a reasonable price or if we should offer lower because a lot of times, I'm not going to say all the times, but a lot of times a home can be listed at a higher price than what it's valued at. And it's done, you know, for several reasons. For the reason that the, one of the main reasons is because the, the seller themselves, they think that's what this house is worth. You know, they, they don't do too much homework or research on, on their, their, their property. They think, oh, so and so sold for this much. Well, I can sell for that much also, right? And so it takes a lot, a lot of things that come into consideration: the size of the home, the condition of the home, um, uh, the age, right, square footage, all that stuff. And so you match that to other homes that sold recently. Um, it could be you know within the same month it, but you also you of course for sure you you don't want to just look at what sold most recently within the area no because you want to match it up to what the specifics of that home if it's a three bedroom two bath okay you want to look for three bedroom two bath if it's a 1100 square feet you want to do you know find something around that and then you want to do like 30 days within the last you know one mile to three miles and then you go on if you don't find things of of uh, that criteria, you, you you stretch it out, you expand it. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share uh, my screen so that you guys are able to see uh, pretty much what I'm looking at. So if I can figure out how to and look. This is my first time recording on StreamYard and and trying to figure out how to how to get my recording on the screen. So bear with me. Let's see if we can do this. Share a screen to see how this layout is unique. All right. We are now I'm gonna do this. Look. Give me a second. Share this window. Alright, we're gonna look up this property right here. And this system is called Stellar. This uh this app here, this website. Um most people won't have access to this unless you're a realtor and you're you belong to an association. So I belong to the Greater Tampa Realtors. So I'm a member there, and um, you know we'll get access to the MLS. So I'll come on here, and you know just kind of look up the information, check some things out. Anything that we should know. I'm gonna block some things off. That I don't want to share too much specifics about it, but. The other thing too is we're gonna want to look up uh, uh, okay yeah there you go so I have the address here and this is pretty much what I do with a lot of my properties that I'm looking up I'm helping a buyer this website here is amazing so come in here. You do some comps, you can do some CMAs, you look at the location, the market trends. So this right here, this right here, this is um, kind of an estimated value of what the home will go for, right? So they have a listed for that, but this is 
what the market or the system right here is saying based off of uh, you know recent sales in the area now this is not a hundred percent you know what i mean like i would still need to do my own due diligence and look now even even it no matter how close i get um you know i'm not an appraiser so i gotta i gotta let that be known i'm not i can't i'm not appraising the home right now i'm just looking to find what the more reasonable price is and you know that's what we're going to offer so i'll come on here and i don't know if you guys can see this but i'm on zillow right now maybe you can't but i'll put it here and i'll go to zillow and i'll go to realtor i'll go to a lot of these websites so i'll come on here and i'll look at what sold so right so it's 275 295, three bedroom, two bath, 100, pretty much 1200 square foot, right? So I sign out and it's showing me the property in this area, somewhere around this area. There you go. It's right there, 295. All right. So it's pretty much showing me um, everything that is somewhat similar and close by, right? So we're look right here. This is where we want to focus. I'm going to zoom in where well, you guys can see 295 right there, right? All right. But what I want to do is now I'm going to go to sold because I could care less what's being sold around there. Heck, there could be a house that's sell selling here for a hundred, uh, um, a million, you know, that, that doesn't matter though. What you want to go by is what has sold, right? And so we're going to tailor it to three bedroom, two bath. And we're gonna go to more, and we're gonna go to what's sold within the last 30 days, right? So we're here somewhere, right? So what's sold within the last 30 days? That's these right here, these properties. This one right here sold on the 13th of November. This one sold on October 30th. This one sold on 11-17. So this is, probably the closest thing uh yeah in date wise right so we got a lot uh, you know weird numbers really <laughs> you got some weird numbers they're kind of all over the place we got one that's 300 one that's 229 and one that's 117 now what you want to do is you want to expand a little more you know because that that's not really giving you a good accurate reading you know, you never know. I mean, it, it, that might be that might be as just good as we get. Okay. So again, you got to look. Three bedroom, two bath, eleven eighty two, right? So now I'm going to come here. I'm going to take these off as well. I just want to look at a house. Just look at houses, right? The other thing we want to do is square footage, max. We want to put. Uh, yeah, I guess we could put that or yeah, yeah, we could put that right. Nothing less than 1750. All right, let's go. So that changed things a little bit too, right? And we're still in this area right here. This is where the home was. This is where the home was. Okay. So now we have six properties that we can compare it to. These four bed bedroom to bath, we could we could eliminate that. All right, we don't need four bedroom to bath. Um, in fact, we want to use the exact size. Okay, so boom. Um, anything between there, houses. Okay, cool. So now it's limited, exactly what we're looking at now. Now the the closest thing was October third the closest thing to what we had, right? If I remove that exact, where is it? That exact amount, right? These other properties popped up, but the reason why these were like, you know, different pricing is because you have four bedrooms. This is the closest thing, 252. If you guys agree with me, let me know. 
And the other thing you want to do too is you want to confirm, right? Square footage and the lot size. Am I doing this right? So here, the total, that's going to be the lot size, the total area, right? The heated area. Again, let me look for the property. Let me try to see if I have it in here. Yep, good to go. All right, so I'll go back in there. And I also have you here, but this is what we're looking. We're searching, right? So this is square foot, square foot. Yeah, so the, the square footage a lot is actually 6,000. All right, now we got to see if that's accurate. A lot. Okay, yeah, it's in there. So the heated area, all that. All right, so 1182. 1182. So that's good. Cool. All right. The other thing you want to look at is this when it was built. Okay. When the home was built. So now we got to go back to our comparables and let's look at this property in October. When was this built? This was built in nineteen sixty. We were built in nineteen sixty eight. Okay. So for two fifty two. So my guess is. 252, you know, I would tell my guys somewhere around the ballpark of 265, you know what I'm saying? Like 265, this, I don't know about that. I don't know if it'll appraise it that much. All right, yeah, look at the property. It's already being listed, so. Just look at the property. Ah, I hate that. I hate when you, you go in there, you don't you take photos and it's like, come on, you can get rid of this stuff. You can get rid of this. Come on, man. That's it. Let them photos. That's okay. And you can look at more stuff too. You could do a CMA, you can look at more properties. You know, you can go to Red Redfin. But guys, that's pretty much like that's as close as you can get. You can't you can't really get too close because an appraiser is gonna do do their job, right? They're gonna look at more properties. I would say this home about 265 at max, right? They're saying 243. That's cool. That's cool. 243 is cool, right? And then look, this one was sold at 252. Is it smaller? One one eight two. Nah, it's not smaller. It's actually bigger. Lot size six nine six nine, and it's a lot bigger in lot. So, yeah, I mean they probably could do two two forty three. Um, why they said two ninety five beats me. I don't know. You know, they probably have a lot of, they probably don't have a lot of equity. I mean, we don't know. Like a lot of that stuff, we can, we can look up. We can come here. We can see when the owners have lived here. I can show you guys all that stuff. That's, that's, an, that's for another video. But I just want to give you an idea of how we go about in identifying a price to offer the sellers, you know, and, and we do, we got to do the same thing when we're on the listing side. Got to, you got to. You know, you want to you want to give your your sellers a reasonable price just as you want to give the buyers a reasonable price. You know, and and ultimately it's their decision, but you want to advise them as best as possible. So that's my two cents for you guys. Um, you know, I hope that helps out. Let me know. I got a buddy of mine calling. Sorry, guys. I hope that helps out. If uh, you have any questions you want to get with me, let me know. You know, I help you out. I can be your realtor. I can guide you in in this market. I can I can guide you in becoming a realtor. You let me know. All right, guys. Appreciate you for watching. If you have any questions? Comment below. 
Subscribe if, you know, if this made sense to you, if this helped you out, share it, and, and let's connect. All right, guys, take care. Bye.